So the FBI, so the FBI admits that they have failed to protect us, and they are very much aware that social media has been one of the primary targets of how we have been targeted in them soliciting our phone numbers, giving out our personal information besides friends, family, strangers, and our personal information, and also doing the same thing as well local terrorism as well as overseas terrorism uh, they pretty much admit to that that they have epically failed and they are pretty much blaming China and Russia for their own epic failures of course once again not taking accountability fully and completely because they were stating that how Americans are and other countries are scared of Law enforcement bursting into their doors. Local terrorism as well. And not being protected. And this is a CBS episode. That they're admitting this on national television. To their epic failures and sellout tactics of causing chaos and confusion. Which is ultimately <laughs> they already knew what they were doing. Pretty much. Now they're being called out for it. CIA as well. They they not exempt they not excluded all this governmental system because they've all had a part in it. From the welfare system to all governmental systems, from the WIC program to uh, but the military program, Air Force, the Navy SEAL, fucking the Border Patrols, all of them, police officers, correctional officers, we have all pretty much been lied to, lied to ourselves and each other, and this is the toxic cycle that needs to end. Bro, I'm like. I'm honestly, uh, I don't even want to talk about it no more. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to focus on it. I don't want to do none of that no more about this bull crap. It's just, it's so like, this is why I was freaking out. Everybody was like, oh, she crazy. She lost her motherfucking mind. She got all this information. Shit. Because I fucking. Uh, Channel all that information, you know, shit. Mm. And now it's on national TV. And it's just like, it's not nothing to brag about. It's like really, it's really, really, really sad. It's like, it's beyond sad. You know, but all I can really hope and have faith on is that, you know, we can truly forgive ourselves and each other for this entrapment you know although along the lines somewhere we be it we submitted in uh how do you say um consented to it in some fashion or form way or another knowingly or unknowingly and I can say for the most part, most people don't know. And it'd be unknown. And that's the messed up part about it. Just like these, you know, these shots, they are. <laughs> they just, just, they just, just, they just don't know how to sit the fuck down and heal. I mean, ultimately, if that was implemented in. <laughs> In elementary is true healing, psychological, you know, healing, spiritual healing. If all this is implemented in the everyday class, in everyday homes, and you gotta start somewhere. If this was uh, implemented into everyday things, that this, it wouldn't be so fast. Like today, I got gaslit like a motherfucker. I was like, man, dude, I'm just so tired of people bullshit. I'm tired of my own shit at times. Like, 
I was just tired of dealing with people and I was like, damn, I should just stay to myself. And I ultimately don't end up staying to myself. I'm trying to pull my lips down so they begin to <laughs> in the video. But uh, ultimately, just. Bro, I'm so tired of this shit. I promise. I was so fucking. Close to telling these motherfuckers I'm on crystal meth or I'm on crack or something. I need to be in the rehabilitation center because they are so fucked up. They put people in these fucked up ass cycles and then, you know, they're trying to get help and they're trying to do the best that they can with these all stupid ass systems. They have their fucking old statute of limitations and all this other shit. Like, it would have been way easier for me to do that <laughs> and actually not been on fucking drugs to fucking get some help. Like, I could have been had fucking help. But at the same time, I understand these are fucking spiritual contracts. This is why I don't like fucking with none of this shit. And I'd rather fucking be in my car. <sighs> I swear. I'd rather be in my fucking car. Then deal with humans right now at this point. I was just... <laughs> But I know it's not going to last <laughs> like it ever. And, you know, it's just, it's just a temporary struggle. I keep on telling myself. And, you know, I'm here to be somebody else's lesson and lesson at the same time. And really try to figure this out <laughs> on a whole spiritual level. Like... This is not even crazy. I mean, this is this is crazy, but it's just like I was just talking to somebody. Like I tell people, like, yeah, you have to think about it. Black people in America, African Americans, they don't know shit about anything really, for the most part. They know basic things. We don't have a place here to where we can go out in the wilderness and chill with a tribe. We don't have that fucking here. Like, that's by far the worst thing they did to us. What's the fuck us out of that? In time, you'll probably see and understand what I mean by that. That they, they fucked us out of that, of having that, and saying that we're Indian and we're not really Indian. It's crazy how they set everything up. It just irritates me. I need to really freaking work, <laughs> work on my cousin. I really do. I'm laughing, but it's so serious. Because. But then that, seeing my positive affirmations and really sitting down and reflecting at this point. Sitting down and reflecting on me, this whole journey, what I've been through. And Things that I missed, things that could have been done, to, you know, to better myself. It's just, and that's in many forms and fashions of ways. You know, the spiritual journey has been, you know, quite the experience, but it's just like. Oh my gosh. So his is getting it could be worse. It always could be worse. It fucking can be. It just having to be the example of letting she go quite literally and it's like 
It's not even funny. Yeah, I have more peaceful types. Yeah. Where it's like, I was ghastly. It was like, oh, it's your fault for defending yourself. Huh? Oh, I see what time it is. <laughs> It's your fault for defending yourself. You don't have the right shit. For one, you know, hell, you shouldn't let people abuse your inner child or put you in a space where it makes you feel like that, especially if they're not going to be mature about the situation. It is a double team up on somebody or whatever and have me. That's not cool. That's lame. It's I don't know what. But you know what? That's why people should stay to themselves. And I was told to stay to myself. I really was. And I did not listen. My little social butterfly, me won't. But you know what? It was way worse the last experience. So I'm just happy it's not as bad. Because me striving to better myself for what I got going on matters the most. And I'm going to. I'm going to do everything I can. What I'm supposed to do is for the better of it, of, you know, helping the universe heal, healing myself, breaking generational curses. It's not easy. But I'm so glad, like, too, for the experience, like, I'm trying to explain this without explaining it. <laughs> so, if my inner child was projecting lies and telling the story about things that were not true, it's because that same projection was put on me. I'm just using this as an example. Learn behavior. So I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I'm not going to beat up my inner child because of what I thought and perceived to be the right way of handling things and give somebody the op- give give my inner child the opportunity of having a better example to go by and that's the best thing that I can do for my inner child um, and having a memory a thought form to go off of to take uh, the higher road of becoming a better evolved being in this reality to crawl out of a trap so I'm just glad yeah cause like <laughs> not passing judgment help with that and being patient and, and things like that being so freaking patient and being patient because usually I would have been like, uh-uh, I'm shutting down, stay to myself. 
like that. I don't even want to experience this shit. But I'm happy at the time. At the same time, I'm like sad. But it helps me to be stronger and setting more boundaries because I need to learn more boundaries. And the way I learn boundaries and protect myself, I can also teach someone else that, and I'm also being taught that as well. So, in different ways, in all realms. This is not so much a bad thing, you know. I blame myself a lot for a lot of things. And, um, I'm learning to not be so... Hard on myself, but being firm with myself. Like, okay, you say you weren't gonna do this, don't do it. You say you're gonna work on this, work on that. And stopping myself in that moment or taking a pause in that moment before, during, and after in order to be able to process the whole thing and bits and pieces of, of the you know the puzzles. It's tedious, but it is worth it. It's definitely worth it. So, it's, it's good. It's getting better. It's just learning experience. Help me learn things that you know, I'm always learning something new, and I'm glad that I'm always learning something new. So, and I'm just now learning something else new too as well. Sorry. tell you one thing these motherfuckers <laughs> be lying about spirituality so be lying and okay so we the whole spiritual community is under attack. Like I said, it started off with fucking social media. Like, once it hit social media, shit. That was it. It was, that was fucking free for all. We had already gave out the numbers. The numbers, the fucking social media, with the fucking. They had to create all this to create more money and income to do more bullshit of what they wanted to do with the money. They already fucking knew what they was doing. They already knew what was coming. They can't say they didn't know what was coming. That's why they was prepared for it. They're still prepared for some bullshit. Like, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, California. Mm-mm. Unfortunately, California ain't got that long, like I said. Shit. And yeah, more than likely, it's going to be all bad by June. June. June 22. 22. 
Twenty twenty two is gonna be so disturbed. Very disturbed. Oh, I don't know what I'm my hands and like I don't know. Better not. Wait, what the hell is that? What are you doing? I'm just sorry. I don't believe so. When that he said, no, he don't believe so. He a motherfucker lie. These motherfuckers have been shooting people back to back. Babies come missing. I'm surprised my child alarmed. Like all, all last month and the month before that, children disappearing had that motherfucker phone was ringing off the hook. Bad, and the the alarm system ain't went off lately. But and I said that child kidnapping and all that stuff is just not. It's not cool. It's not. Everything that's going on. These motherfuckers been raping people in public spaces, in public, in the neighborhood. And, and, and Walmart and Target and all kind of shit like that is really got fucking disgusting. I don't know. Hey. Uh, uh-uh, no, not my way. <laughs> but it's just like, man, it's fucking crazy, bro. The motherfuckers have lost their mind. They have absolutely fucking lost their mind. It's so violent and so manipulative. And shit, I'm scared of my goddamn self at this point right now. I ain't trying to make no wrong move, no wrong feeling, no wrong nothing. I swear. And I had to defend myself. I'm going to keep on defending myself. Like, I ain't going to feel bad. Like I said, call me a snitch or whatever. I don't give a damn. No. Don't. Don't. Just don't. I don't, I don't really care at this point. People are getting too damn crazy and then they want to go above and beyond that. And they want to team up and gang stop for some more shit. I'm good. Okay, tell on your motherfucking ass. You know, keep on messing with me. <sighs> I ain't put my hands on nobody. I ain't had to put my hands on nobody, thank God, for that. God is keeping that promise. I ain't got to put my finger, lift the finger, nothing at I don't. I'm just don't. I'm gonna call my Archangel Michael. Raphael. You know, they're my Archangels. Come through. Now I got something else to think about too. As far as. Spirituality is concerned, practices, and this type of thing. I'm so glad I ain't taking no pain pills. I ain't doing none of that. Oh. I'm glad I ain't stealing. I'm glad I ain't. 
I'm glad I ain't angry as I used to be. I'm glad I've learned to calm my nerves more. You know, take accountability when things are not my fault. I still take accountability for letting it happen. And that's not an easy thing to do, but it's something that gets better with practice. And you just learn to walk away. But, you know. These things, you know, they grow and they heal over time. Not trying to stay bitter, just want to be, you know, great. Not greater than anybody else, just greater than me. I'm supposed to be in competition with my damn self. Shit. Yeah, stay in competition with myself. It's crazy because, man, I keep saying it. My powers have amplified so much. It's crazy. Super, super sensitive. I'm just like... I... It's crazy. I be around somebody and I feel how they feel towards me. I... I mean, communicating telepathically. It's crazy. And then you gotta be careful because some of these beings, you know, they ain't got the. Shot, and that's a whole nother entity, quite literally. So, I gotta be careful, man. I'm telling you, like, y'all don't even understand. But I just hope y'all take the basic understanding. It's a whole nother entity, it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter. Hijack something that's spirit tongue. At this point in time, it's hard to trust anybody. Except for, you know, the ones you know you can trust. I think I got about I ain't gonna say Cause most of them He can't even see them physically anyway. They protect me And I talk to them all the time Archangel Michael Get around. I love the city. And I, 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 I love my job. You are an interesting character. Don't you think? Who are you, man? I don't want to make this long video. Y'all know I don't got energy for drama. I don't got time for the argument. Not walk away so quick. It ain't even funny. I'd Mm-hmm. And right now, I feel like I ain't walking away fast enough. Like, I ain't doing nothing fast enough. Yes, I think it's a huge mistake not to require it. We're still requiring it in our subway system and on our buses. The mayor likes to describe himself as perfectly imperfect. His critics would certainly agree with the imperfect part. Some progressive Democrats believe his law and order approach will lead to more police abuses without reducing crime. Advocates for the homeless argue it's inhumane to evict people from subways or encampments 
without offering them a safe and suitable place to stay. And government watchdog groups are deeply concerned about some mayor's appointments. His deputy mayor for public safety, Philip Banks, was once the NYPD's highest ranking uniformed officer. Philip Banks. In 2014, and was later named an unindicted co conspirator in a police corruption case. Mm -hmm. Is that the kind of person you really want to have in your inner circle? We're in a city of perfectly imperfect people. During the time that we had the law enforcement crisis, perfectly there imperfect were people. Of the table. There was testimony that he let a businessman pay for his vacation travel expenses. You said you're not going to tolerate wrongdoing by your officers. Are the things he did okay? Listen, we could have uh, made better decisions for who was around him. What I do know is that we're going to have a very transparent government here in City Hall. Transparency is the best way to make sure those who are hired are doing their job. And I swear, I was just talking about Zootopia last night. <laughs> if y'all ain't seen the movie Zootopia, y'all should know that's one of my favorite movies. Go watch it too, Zootopia. Y'all understand what I'm referring to. One of them basic concepts. Shit. For all the pain my body go through, shit. Should be a raging bull around here. Love this city. Eric Adams, many personalities. And I'm not sitting here watching TV with me, but. You'd be meditating, but they got so much bullshit out. I don't listen to everybody's stuff, so I'm not. I don't be listening to it because oh shit, I don't be trusting it. Shit. It's only very, 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 very few I would listen to, period. So, above y'all, talk to y'all later. Keep loving yourself. Don't give up. Stay positive. Positive is possible. There's always a lesson in every blessing, a blessing in every lesson. And, you know, you take the good out of everything and you make it better. Damn, I used to get ringing when I said that. It's like I took all the, the bad out and I just took all the good from each teacher that you know, I had learned to come to from, and that's how I learned to start teaching. And my ancestors and God supported me in that. Because 